another video. Um, I built myself a little computer before I tell you about that. Um, just a little recap, as most of you know. Um, I make a project, it's been successful, it's, complete, it's culminated in this little box, um, tiny little thing, fully supported. Um, as they say on TV, how we now say pounds, but um, it is a lovely little machine. Uh, in some ways, actually, it's better than what I'm going to show you, but I'll explain it in a second. Also, a spin off on my Mika was uh, these little netbooks supported. Uh, Asus Fire uh, 150. Right. Now that uh, now that the uh, we've finished the supporting of Atom based boards, um, just so you know that um, it is possible to get to the the um, uh, the Atom boards with Ion actually are supported now with Icarus 124. I built myself a new little computer. So if I just show you that, this is what I'm playing with at the moment. It's just a scrap heap computer. Um, it's uh, Basically, it's um, just an old computer that was busted, no one wanted. It's got a 1.8 gigahertz um, dual core processor in it, which is actually pretty quick. I stuck a 7800 GTX card in it, um, NVIDIA, with the latest drivers from um, Deadwood the other night. So you can see how well this performs. I also put in a cat wheeze on a sound card and all the other, so it's fully um, ABOS machine. And it's running at 1920 by 200, and so just in case you can see the uh, you can see the resolutions all up there, that's what it's running at now. Uh, I'm going to leave it there so you can see how good 3D is. So anyway, let's get stuck into this. Right, 3D. Um, everyone's been saying to me, show them some games, Steve. Well, you know, I don't, I don't play games much, but um, uh, this is the kind of game that I'll play, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, food billiard. Um, I like the way you can turn it into snooker as well. Oh, no, I've got one in. <laughs> Right, let's see if I can get another one in. Here we go, spin that round there. Slap that. Nah, rubbish, am I? Okay. So yeah, there you go. So if I, I could score. Now, of course, with our Gallium drivers, AWOS is seriously uh, well taken care of with 3D. Um, well, I don't think we can ask any more. So that, that's absolutely amazing. Um, there's also, if I go to games, uh, no, like not there. If I go to media and games, there's this one, Lugaro, which uh, people like now. I am so rubbish at these games. Um, but I'm just going to show you um, how smooth it is and so on. Uh, I was going to put Quake up. I might do it another time, but I'm having trouble getting files. So. Here you go, so let's, um, let's run around, I think the idea is here, uh, jump, and he, and he gets the right up when you try and, yeah, you know, you're not allowed out there, <laughs> let's have a look up there, look around here, you can't jump, Woo! there you go, so that's the guy, um, I'm not going to try showing you the, you, it's a fighting game, you can go and play that, um, Man who did a better, better video of that, and that's not what I'm trying to show you this time. So, um, that's Ligaru. Um, I'll show you a quick uh, demonstration of the 3D again, if I can just quickly load this up. Uh, some of you may have already seen this, but um, nonetheless, it's still quite impressive. Um, this is the um, GLXS demo. Um, Let's just spin through this a bit quicker. Here you go. Um, 3D, what more? I mean, look at this. It's this is absolutely amazing. Um, skip, skip. This all works now. All this, you get the lovely textures and everything, so it's absolutely working brilliantly now. Um, yeah, here we go with the planes. I'm running this. If you want to make it faster, just press the A key. Okay, right, well. There you go, skip forward, look at that, that never worked before, but all that's working now. Um, yeah, there you go, so you've seen that. Right, uh, now let me open up a shell and I will quickly show you the um, other 3D work. Oh, I, I, I don't know if you're aware of the, uh, the changes that have been made with the shell. Um, it's, uh, well, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, uh, the uh, these changes have really made a big difference. Um, so, for example, if I did the IRC, I've already said this, but I, I, I'm really, really pleased with this. So you can see we can scroll up and down. It doesn't lose if I if I close this up. It doesn't lose it. Um, we can still scroll up and down. Uh, so let's do the teapot. 
I said it's a teapot. They shove it up there. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> you can even move this thing up and down. Um, 3D is amazing. Um, here we go. The old boing ball. I wish actually someone had sound to this. Um, but look at that. I mean, it's, um, it's just so smooth. Right. That's all very well, the 3D, um, but where it's actually really useful, um, we've got this absolutely brilliant program called Load Paint, and up until now I haven't been able to use it because it's just, it's, just it's just not usable, but it's, it's built using um, OpenGL, uh, which is kind of strange, but um, it, does, it does mean it's pretty, pretty quick, so if I, let's grab one of these images for example, okay there you go, now I can move this around. Oh, I love the way you can so scroll now. See how it does this grip? That is so clever. Um, and if I want to, I mean, it, there's too much functionality for me to go into it. But so I'll kick that. And I actually do this quite a lot. I end up, um, I end up doing quite a lot. So it's um, that's actually a, a quite an amazing program. So uh, let's shove that up there and open one more. Uh, Amy Bridge screenshot. There you go. Um, Wonderful program this is. Uh, Manu's done some great artwork on this, but I mean, look at this. Look, um, you can scroll stuff in it. I mean, it's really, really powerful. I mean, that's uh, that's, that's an A Ross app to die for. I think um, really, really good. Right, let's discard that. Uh, of course, we've now got um, Yannick's been working really hard on um, improving um, uh, Amy Fig. Uh, as some of you are probably aware. Um, smiling, there we go. Uh, this is a great program, a structured drawing. Now, again, I, I, I admit I've got no talent whatsoever, but uh, Manu did this, and it's um, it, it's capable of some stunning work with this. So if you mix this with, um, if you mix it with something like uh, Load Paint, you know, uh, you've got the fantastic potential here to do graphics and art. So uh, for those who say, well, I don't know what to do on AROS, well, come on, I mean, we've got, we got so much stuff now. Yeah, that's all, a little viewing app that came out, which is really nice. Um, back to that. Right, um, another little thing that um, has been recently added is this. I mean, it's nothing to do with a 3D card, but I absolutely love it. This is by Yannick again. It's only the plane so far, but it's, um, it's really, really nice. It's called Pro Tracker. You can get it off of Yannick's site. So let's close that. There we go. Um, obviously, you're all aware we've got A4. Um, just in case you don't know, let's open up my project and then I'm going to load. Um, right, so let's go and just show you this. Right, and we'll scale on this a bit so you can see this thing going across. And let's play. Okay, so yeah, if you want a sample. Um, Audio Evolution 4 for AROS, so if you want to do music, so look, if you if you really want to, you want to start, have a, a, a nice Amiga for any mach machine, and you've got an old PC that can do the job, I mean, AROS is really the kiddie now, well, I think it is, um, the stability's improved, it's not perfect, we are doing a lot of work on the stability side of things, so that is actually coming. Um, but there's an awful lot you can do with it. We've got a great, you know, we've got a great little browser. Um, <clears throat> here we go. So, uh, done that. Yeah, as you can see, we're all bound there quite a lot. Um, now this is this is uh, this one does quite a good. Good. This is quite a good site. Now, this. I mean, look, <laughs> how nice is this? Uh, let's shrink this down a little bit. It's actually a bit bigger at the moment. I shoved that over there. If on um, SDL, you find it locks uh, not locks the machine up, but um, it uh, seems to be slow everything else down. If you go into the icon tool type, so click on it, go icon. Let's do that for you, so you can see. Cause I did it a bit quick. If you go to icon information, and then tool types. Shut that one down and go to tool types. I, there's this new function now called tool pri equals minus one. Now, if you put your SDL apps to minus one, um, you'll find that. Uh, it will it will still run just as good as before, but it doesn't slow the machine down. Now this is another OpenGL game. It's speeded up. They used OpenGL to speed this game up. Um, uh, it, it, I mean, it doesn't um, come away. It doesn't actually do that much. Oh, look at that, look at that. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> 
and I'm absolutely rubbish, as probably most of you know, I'm completely rubbish at games. But, there you go, it does all the effects. Uh, come on, let's do something a bit. <laughs> there you go, games. Um, so yeah, we can play games. And, as I always say at the end of these things, uh, a toodaloo.